Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by Simprosis. In this video, we will walk you through the ways we can use bulk edit feature for assigning a color attribute for our products. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. The color attribute is used to describe the color of the product we are selling on our website. If your products have multiple variants which vary by colors, but if you have not defined color variants in your Shopify store, then we strongly recommend you to provide this information through custom color attributes from our app. The color information is essential for Google to display color filters for various product categories where different color options are available in shopping ads results. This will also help users to narrow down the search results and help them to discover our products easily as shown here. Color attribute will be very important when it comes to displaying the shopping ads result for correct color being searched by an user on Google or any other marketplace or platform. Google uses color information to group multiple variants together to show them in a single shopping ads result when product data is submitted to Google Merchant Center, along with color attribute and item group ID in the feed. Please note that there is no guarantee that Google will always group all variants together and will display it in the single shopping ads result even after submitting these attributes in the feed. This is because Google considers many other factors to group ads for multiple variants into a single ads result. For instance, Google considers the unique product identifiers, MPN, GTIN, brand name, checks if the value of the color attribute is standard or non-standard, standard color names are also required to be included in the product title or not, etc. Color value is required for all the products from apparel and accessories category in the paid shopping ads, enhanced free listings on Google as well as similar listings on other marketplaces. Google accepts value for color attribute with maximum limit of 100 characters, but in most of the cases, standard color value will not exceed the character limit of 10 to 15 characters. Please make sure to submit only one value for color attribute. But if the product is made up of multiple colors, then we can include up to three colors, separated by a forward slash and a single color value. Like, black, white, red. Don't use the numbers or alphanumeric values for color attribute, or provide values, like as shown in image, see image, or not applicable. Please include standard color names in the product title, while submitting feed to Google Merchant Center. Let's proceed with assigning color using bulk edit feature. Once a feed is submitted to the Google Merchant Center from our app, Google reviews the product data feed and checks if there are any required or recommended attributes missing. When the review is completed, Google lists out all the errors and warnings. To sync those errors and warnings with our app, please navigate to the Manage Products page of the app. Here, in the column of errors from Merchant Center, please click on the Refresh Product Errors option. The dialog box will pop up, where we need to add an email ID to which we would like to have an error sync report to be delivered then click on the Fetch Product Status button. It will start fetching the product level issues and warnings. It may take a few minutes to fetch the errors and warnings based on the number of products submitted in the feed to Google Merchant Center along with other marketplaces. Please be informed that the manual error sync from Merchant Center option is available only once in every 24 hours. Our app also fetches errors and warnings from Google Merchant Center automatically if any new update is pushed to Google Merchant Center for any particular product, or else if the entire feed is resynced again. Once it is done, we will be able see the error and warning messages against the respective products within our app under the errors from Merchant Center column. We also received an email with the list of errors and warnings mentioning a number of affected products as shown here. Upon clicking on the error or warning message from the list, it automatically redirects us to the app and applies the filter to list out only those products which are affected with that error or warning raised by Google in the Google Merchant Center. Like here, it has applied a filter to display products with missing value color warning 
when we have clicked on the same error message in the email. Before proceeding ahead with assigning color value, to resolve the warning message of missing value color flag by Google Merchant Center, please ensure that you have assigned the correct Google product category to all your products. We are suggesting this because if Google product category is not assigned by you, as per your products, in that case, Google automatically assigns a product category. There are times when the product category assigned by Google is observed to be inaccurate, the required attribute for this inaccurate product category may differ from the actual product requirements. Let's take a look at one use case we created for a demo. As we can see here, Google product category is also not assigned for this product. Upon checking the same product in the Google Merchant Center, we can clearly see that this is a seasonal home decoration product as visible in the product image and stated in the product title. But Google has automatically categorized this product under necklaces, which falls under the category of apparel and accessories. As mentioned earlier, color value will be required for all apparel and accessories products, Google has raised a warning for missing value color. So now to resolve this warning, we just need to assign the correct Google product category for this product within a wrap. It can be assigned using the do edits in bulk feature. Once the Google product category is updated in the merchant center, warnings related to missing value color, age group, and gender will vanish automatically without assigning the color value within the app. Now coming back to the actual subject matter. Our app allows you to filter products based on multiple sets of criteria at once. For example, it empowers you to filter all the products for which color is still not assigned within the app, along with an already applied filter for products with missing value color warning. To filter out these products, please click on the filter products and choose color, assigned for feed from the listed alternatives. From the value drop-down menu, please select not defined or blank as condition value and hit on the add filter button. This will now filter only those products that have missing value color error, but custom color value is not assigned for them within our app using the bulk edit feature. As we can see the seasonal decorative product is no longer visible in the filtered products, it implies that the missing value color error is already resolved. This is because the errors and warnings were refetched after Google product category was assigned for that product and submitted to Google Merchant Center with updated data. Let's proceed to assign the color attribute for the remaining products. While using the bulk edit feature, the knowledge about the products we are selling on our online store comes handy because it will allow us to reach a particular group of products that will make the bulk color assignment process easier. We can apply other additional filters for reaching at a very granular level of a specific product group, like filtering by product tag or simply we can look for the product with color name in the search box. Like here we are searching for the color black. This will also work as an additional filter to narrow down the results and show only those products that include black in their product titles. Now, we need to select products which are made of the same color combinations, like all black or black and white. We can select products using the checkbox available beside the product title one by one or we can also choose all or multiple products together. To select multiple products at a time, click the first product, then press the shift key and hold it. Click the last product and release the shift key. This will select all the products within the selected range. Here we have selected the products which are of black only color. Now, to assign color for these products, please click on the do edits in bulk option, it will open up a drop down list available to assign various custom attributes in the app. We will need to select the assign color for feed option. In the dialog box, we are adding black in the value field, and hit the apply in bulk button. This will assign the black as color value for all the selected products, and submit them to your Google Merchant Center. Now that the color value is defined, those products are no longer part of existing applied filters. The reason being the applied filter is meant for the products which are not assigned with color value within a wrap. From the remaining products, we can see that the second and third products are of black and blue color, hence we will select them. 
and will assign black and blue color following the same bulk edit steps. As mentioned earlier, if a product is made up of several colors, it is allowed to assign up to three colors for a single color attribute, where each of them is separated by a forward slash. Therefore, for this use case, we will need to assign black slash blue as color value and apply it. Now, there are two products left for assigning color. As we can see here, the first product which is ring is made up of two colors, black and rose gold. Let's assign the color for it quickly. So now we are left with only one product for which we need to assign a color attribute to address missing value color error. As we can see this women's dress is made of three colors, white, black, and red as mentioned in the title, and is evident in the product image. We will need to assign white slash black slash red as value for the color using the bulk edit feature. As soon as we have applied the bulk edit, no products are available from the applied filters, because there are no more products left which are fulfilling all three conditions for which we have applied filters. So to check out any other product which still requires color value, we will need to modify the filters. So let's try removing the first filter black, by clicking on the cross mark in that filter. We can also do this, by deleting the search query from the search bar, or replacing it with any other search query. We see that a product is appearing under the filtered product which is women's flip-flops. However, this time the product does not contain any information about color in the title. So we may need to check the product image and or description, to figure out the color for this product. As we can see here, this product has so many colors. In such cases, Google gives us an option to assign the primary color which covers the major part of the product along with secondary color as multi, or else we can assign the color value as multi, if we are not able to figure out any one color as primary color to assign in color attribute. On a side note, when we need to assign color for any one product only, we can do it with the help of bulk edit feature as well as from the product details of that particular product. For assigning custom color value from the product details page, please click on the product title from the manage products page, it will open the details of the product in the new tab. On the product details page, please navigate to the custom attributes section. For this use case, we will add multi as value and hit enter or return button to save the changes. As we can see, the product is now under the pending status in the blue bar. So whenever we do bulk edit or assign any custom attribute manually within the app, it may take about 30 minutes to process it and submit it to Google Merchant Center and other marketing platforms. Points to bear in mind. Color values which we have just assigned for our products using the bulk edit feature are limited for feed only. This means that they will not be written back to your Shopify store for updating your product details. Color values defined using the bulk edit feature of the app will be applicable only at the product level and not at the variance level. This implies that the same color value will be submitted for all the product variants. If your products vary on the basis of different colors, then we recommend you create a variant based on color in your Shopify store itself, so that it will be submitted automatically by our app in the feed as a value for color attribute. If you are following a special setup where you will not be able to create variants for your products based on color in your Shopify store, then kindly take the help of our support team. We will help you submit a color value for your products at variant level, using the automated rule or supplemental feed, as it is an easy and feasible option for your store. Let's review Google Merchant Center. After assigning the color attribute values and submitting your updated feed to Google Merchant Center, if we check the diagnostics page, you might see a warning for missing value color is still appearing in the item issues list. This might have ignited your curiosity to know why the error is still appearing in the Google Merchant Center account, even though we have already assigned the color value for all the products where the color attribute was missing. Actually, the diagnostics page of the Google Merchant Center usually takes at least 30 minutes to update the list of item issues and show only the errors that still need our attention. To verify if color value is updated within Google Merchant Center or not, let's check a few products. 
please click on the view examples link available against a missing value color warning. It will display the list of affected products. Let's check this women's dress. Click on the title of the product to visit the product details page. As we can see here, color is already visible on the product details page. Also, warning for missing value color vanished from the item status section. If we check the raw feed attributes section, it will also show the same color value as we have assigned in the app. With this we have come to the end of the video as we are done with assigning color attribute value to our products. Hope this helps. See you on the other side. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing.